Hi everyone. So now we'll talk about probes in React Native. And guys, probes are really important feature of React Native because without probes, you cannot send data from one component to another component. And now let's start with the points of this video. First of all, I will tell you what are the probes. Even I already told you basic things about that, but again, I will just uh, tell you some more detail. And uh, after that, we will do practical example with the probes, how we can create probes, how we can pass data, how we can uh, print the probes and everything. And uh, then we will uh, go through uh, with difference between states and probes because this is really important interview question also. So don't miss that thing. And at the last, we will uh, discuss some more interview question related to probes and uh, component. And now let's uh, come back to the first question. What are the probes? See. Probes are the argument or you can say that parameter of uh, any component, same as functions. Like if you want to uh, pass some data to any function, what you will do? You will obviously pass uh, argument or parameter, which is the same thing. With the same way, if you want to just pass some data in component, then we will pass it with the probes. How? Let me show you with the example. So here you can see that this is uh, our editor for code. And here we have emulator. I am just uh, closing this explorer so that we have more space to write the code, right? So what I'm going to do first of all, I am just creating a one more component. And let's say my component name is user. Even you can create this uh, component in the different file also, but I just want to use the probes uh, in the same file, component and probe same file so that you can just see both component probes how we can just passing the probes and how we can using the probes in the same screen that will be uh, better for understanding all right so i am just creating a component we can return something here even quickly we can use a view and inside it we can use the text also perfect and here i'm just putting here child component and uh, now we can use this uh, user component there. So let me just simply choose this component similar like a tag. Here you, here you can see that we got the child uh, component, but text is really small. So I am just putting there some style also. Perfect. So, so that we can find the difference, we can add uh, some style also, some more style, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm just adding a background color. Let's say background color is green and perfect. So in a green color, we have the uh, child component and the, uh, around it, we have the parent component, right? You can see that uh, the parent comp uh, component is the around uh, user component, perfect. So let's say we have a name variable or let or const, whatever you want to just write here and its value is Peter. You want to send this name to our uh, user component how will you do that so you cannot directly use uh, because we can use this name sim simply like this inside our app component which is working perfectly but you cannot use inside the child component like this and if you will just try to use it then you will just find the error there right all right so how we can do that for that you need to pass a argument with which we call the uh, probes in case of react native or react how you can just simply say that name and uh, anything whatever you want to pass let's say i just want to pass their groups this is the static probes right so i can just now uh, simply get any parameter in the user because as a function we are using this component so just uh, get the probes as a function and if you just want to check what you are getting inside these probes, you can simply run it like this with the console.one. And here you can see that we are getting name is Bruce. So if I will put there probes.name, then still it will work fine. Right? And guys, keep in mind it's not important that you need to just pass only get the uh, probes with the name of probes uh, keyword. If you just simply use x then just you can use it then it will still work fine right but uh, as we are using probes so i just want to give some meaningful name that's why and now you can use this uh, probes dot name like this and here we go we got that uh, bruce here 
but this is basically uh, static data if you want to pass the dynamic data then again same thing just choose like this and now you will get the Peter here perfectly fine but now let's say on a button click you want to update that probes then how you will update one thing that you keep in mind that you cannot update the probes from child component this is our child component if you want to just try to update this uh, props dot name you cannot not update uh, this from the user component it must be updated inside only the app component then how we can update it so for that we need a state because in last video i already told you that uh, uh, if you want to update uh, some information then we have to use state we cannot use variable why you can watch our last video for that case because this is a pretty uh, lengthy explanation you can say that right so now what i'm going to do i am just making a button there and uh, i'm putting a title let's say update name or something right all right and uh, i am just uh, making this name a state so how we can make the state i already told you in last video but again i'm just making it uh, this is the first parameter which is a state name and set name this is a function for update the state and use state and you can put any by default name let's say tony or anything and if i'm just passing this name directly there i don't want to just show you this state there only right so now you can see that we just pass this uh, name directly in the user and it will uh, you can see that this is printed in our child component it doesn't matter with the name or, or pre uh, probes you are passing some variable state static data integer data boolean data you can pass anything whatever you want all right okay so the next thing is we want to update this Tony to the Peter and want to send in the child component. For that, you can just make a own press event. In last video, uh, I told you that you need to create a function and then you can uh, just simply update the state. That is also a perfect way, but I am just telling you the short way because uh, in last video, I don't want to make you confused. So just simply create a arrow function and here just, just use the set name and you can put any name or you can say that any updated name let's say let me put there uh, batman perfect and now if i'm just click, clicking on that update name you can see that we got the batman in child how because we are using the name state uh, as a probes and if we just update this name again our component will re-render and uh, it will send to the our child component like this even you can send the two uh, probes also so let me just send the age also and i just want to pass it a static thing right like 29 and uh, again let's say you just want to print the name and uh, age also right and simply put their age these are not mandatory thing i just want to indicate them like this is the age and this is the name and here we go is is nothing because we need to pass the age not is again that is working perfectly fine so with that way you can just pass one parameter two parameter or you can say that one props two props three props how many as you want you can pass it right so that's all for this part and the interview question uh, first thing is what is the difference between state and probe see state can only use inside a single component right like uh, the name is just using inside the app and if you just uh, want to pass it in the child then we need to pass this pass it through probes you cannot simply just uh, declare a name state there and you cannot simply just use in the any another component this is not possible if you want to pass the state data to any other component then you must have to pass it with the probes second thing what are the similarity in uh, state and uh, probes so whenever a state or whenever a probes will update our component will re-render uh, one more interview question can we update probes in child component answer is no we cannot update probes from child components they are kind of read only in our child components you can update them only from 
parent component all right so that's all guys if you have uh, any another question you can ask me in the comment box and uh, i will request you to please subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section thank you guys thank you so much